All right, we just finished entering our basic information, filing status, the personal information, our dependent information, and now we're on to the federal section. If you look up at the top of the screen, we have the headings that basically make up the federal tax return. Income, deductions, other taxes, payments and estimates, miscellaneous forms. Notice on the left hand side the federal section is highlighted. After the federal section we'll move on to health insurance. But what we specifically want to talk about is our income at this point. So we're presented with the opportunity to use the guide me function or the enter myself. I jokingly call these the help me and I know what I'm doing. Also over here we have enter the form number and so locating forms can be done in a number of ways. You can use guide me to hold your hand or enter myself to directly enter the client's information. Basically line 7 through 21 of the 1040. Or do you want to type in W2 and go to the form W2 now. The W2 screen is very close to the W2 that you should be holding in your hand from your customer. So we'll enter the EIN for our clients W2. The employer name the employer address and the zip code and once again notice that the city and the state automatically fill with the zip code we'll enter the wages we'll enter the federal tax withheld and notice that the Social Security wages, the Social Security tax withheld, Medicare wages and Medicare tax automatically fill. If we had any qualified deferrals, we would enter those here in box 12 and enter the amounts. And then state information, we would enter the state information down here. State wages automatically fill and we would enter the state taxes withheld on the W-2. If there were any local wages or local tax paid we would enter that information down here as well. So what I'll do now is click on continue and I'm told here here's one of the diagnostics in the program I evidently entered the EIN for this employer wrong the employer identification number is not a valid combination. I need to verify the first two digits. So the program will catch me and make sure that I enter those digits in correctly. I'll review my W-2 information. Click continue. And I'm good to go on that one. Now, notice right here, if I needed to add an additional W-2, just simply click here opens up another W-2 screen for me. I can fill out that information if I need to. But for purposes of this little demo, I'm going to click the cancel button and get out of there. Now, if we had any other income, we could come up here to enter form number and we could enter our form number directly or we can click back on federal section, enter myself, and we can look for other income. 1099 interest, Schedule C, which will go through as its own little form, Schedule D, Schedule E, we'll do the same thing. And then at the bottom, we have other income. Other income includes income not reported elsewhere. It's kind of a catch all. Your K1, if your client is a business owner, or a shareholder and received a K-1 and then you've got other compensation other compensation actually drills down a little bit more and presents you with a few more options if you click begin you'll find scholarships and grants fringe benefits 
household employee income and prisoner earned income and so that's how we enter our income now we'll go through the specific income items we showed you the W-2 in the next video we'll jump into a Schedule C